shit. Tonight, we have a lady. From New Jersey. Y'all put your hands together for Jessica Lee in the house. He said I'm from Jersey, so I'm supposed to go. What's up, motherfucker? How we doing? Look at my beautiful party people. That's right, he said my name is Jessica Lee. I know y'all look confused, like bitch, you not Asian. I don't get that shit all the time. That's just cause I'm always really high. <laughs> Clap it up if you smoke weed in the house. Hey, hey. For real, for real, I mean shit. Tino hit me up and was like, uh, I can't pay you, but I got some weed. So now I'm here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, it feel good to be out the motherfucking house, right? Shit. It feel like ladies, when you get home and take that bra off at the end of the night and let your titties out, just, oh. Oh man, that shit is like a whole new world. For real, for real, man. Yeah, I really do, I smoke a lot of weed, I always have, it's my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I left New Jersey and came to LA for this shit, fuck hopes and dreams, I was just trying to smoke weed legally and shit. Cause in Jersey, they see a pin piece of lit on your shirt, they be red team go, red team go, lock it up immediately. So I couldn't deal with that no more, I came over here so I could smoke my weed, you know what I mean? But then I, I realized like, I was over here and I went for a job application and they tried to give me a drug test. And I was like, um, wait a minute, we're in California. We don't, we don't do that over here. But even still, they was mad lenient. They was like, but I'm letting you know 30 days in advance, we gonna drug test you on this day at this time for all of these specific substances. You know what I'm saying? So I did what any normal responsible adult would do. And I ain't quit, I just bought one of them like fake drug tests past the motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? Fuck, I ain't about to quit. 30 days in advance, motherfucker. I need Jesus in advance. That's what I need, for real. But I did, I, I got this product called Quick Fix. Clap it up if any of y'all have it. Yeah, I know you use that shit, bro. I see the grill, I see it. You know what I mean? But I, I did, but you know, I had to be like any other American and look up everybody else's reviews before I bought the shit, right? Because I can't think for myself. Uh, I like to look up white people's opinions at this fucking shit right here. I always wonder, like, who actually has the time to go online and write a review about some shit? Horny motherfucking people. I don't know. They just sit home, whack off all day and write on the computer. It's crazy. But no, I did, I read the reviews, and uh, I kid you not, the first review on this product was all caps. So I was like, oh, this bitch is serious. All caps, motherfucker. So I read the review, and <laughs> true story, it started off like, caution, do not buy this product. I said, oh, okay, here we go. So I started reading, it said, don't buy this product. My husband took this product, and he came up positive for crack ecstasy, PCP, heroin, mescaline, birth control, Sudafed, Mucinex, all types of shit. And I know that my husband would never do PCP. I said, damn, bitch. Oh, okay, this shit accurate. I see what it is. You didn't just in denial, bitch. She, she getting dickmatized, ladies. You know what that is, right? Dickmatization. You know what I'm saying? When they pull it out and you just, Oh, just me? Oh, okay, I see what we're doing out here. I see what we're doing. But no, I, I, uh, I read the review and I said, you know what, I gotta buy this product because this motherfucker getting away with everything. He's the motherfucker you see on cold case files 37 years later, we caught the motherfucking assailant, bitch. He was on PCP. Oh man, no, I, I, uh, I had to fire my intern actually because she failed her drug test. The bitch wouldn't smoke with me. I was like, what is this? I can't have you. 
Over here making your judgments from your ivory tower, bitch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Did you guys hear about that one guy? He just got in that really bad accident. He lost his whole left side. He all right. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's going to land. And, and, and there it is. There it is. I love that one, man. <laughs> yeah, I always told him, like, dude, if you need anything, let me know. I give my left arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> uh, I've, I've moved out to LA and uh, I realize the dudes out here are fine as hell, okay? I don't know what it is, but it's just a whole nother fucking breed. But you know what else they are? Dumb as shit, you know what I'm saying? Just all types of dumb motherfucker. like use your vowels and shit dumb. Oh man, like they fine as hell, but just stupid as a motherfucker. And I can't, like I, I can't, I realize it. Like I, I can't just look at you. I gotta be able to talk to you too, because I be dating these models out here and I swear I be so embarrassed to introduce them to motherfuckers. I be, just stay over there and look cute, bitch. Stay over there and just look cute. <laughs> I went on a date the other day with this one dumbass model, and I swear, he's like, where do you want to go? I don't know. I'm like, you already indecisive. I can't. Well, I'm supposed to be the indecisive one, motherfucker. But we did. We went out on a date, and I said, well, <laughs> let's go hiking. Let's go to Griffith. Let's go to Runyon. <laughs> do my white girl thing. <laughs> so uh, we went out to Griffith. And I kid you not, as soon as we got to the park, three coyotes hop out the fucking bush in front of us. I'm not even playing. And I'm from Jersey. Like, I'm white, but I'm not that white. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go investigate scary shit when it happens. You know what I'm saying? I just, I run away. But he was half white, so he was all, what you scared of some dogs? I said, motherfucker, whose fucking dogs is these? I don't see no leash, no collar. They look homeless and hungry, bitch. I'm not going to investigate. This dummy gonna say, well, even if they aren't dogs, they're from LA. <laughs> I said, what the fuck that mean? These ones are vegan. They don't eat white meat on Thursdays and shit. Like, what the fuck? Fuck out of here, yo. So. He, I'm telling you, he was half white. I told him, go figure it out, sweetheart. I'll get the car. I'll be right back. And then I bounced. So I don't got time for that shit. I really don't. <laughs> Real just dumb. Clap it up if you dumb. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I can't make this shit up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it fell right into that shit. Woo. <laughs> Clap it up for yourselves, yo. Clap it up for comedy. Thanks for giving us a chance. All we ever wanted was a chance. For real. I don't even have a name no more. I'm just the white girl. It's just everywhere I go, just the white. Like, the other night, somebody just called me the white. They didn't even finish it with the girl and shit. I just say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But, uh,. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here, I'm dating in this LA industry, whatever you want to call it, and um, ladies, clap it up if you've ever been talking to your man and you looking deep in his eyes and you know at that very moment that motherfucker ain't paying attention to a word that you're saying. Yeah. For real, like, I mean like, what the fuck is you thinking about? Like. I swear, and in my mind, I figured it out. Like, our lips are moving, and they see this right here. I don't even know where the other dick comes from. It's just, it's there. Like, what the fuck? And we get it. Y'all love head, okay? But guess what? Ladies love head, too. But just clap it up. I'm trying to get some head after the show. I said ladies love head, too. Don't make me look bad. Come on, man. <laughs> and we get it like we get it y'all love head so much it's cool but like drink some fucking pineapple smoothies you know what I'm saying like spruce it up down there come up with a product called head on that you got to put head on every time you trying to get head on 
You know what I'm saying? Imagine the commercial, head on. <laughs> Damn, like, you know what I mean? Come up with like a little air freshener. Call it like from under fresh. Just have like a little Christmas tree swinging off your shit. You know what I mean? Ladies, if you woke up in the morning and he had some from under fresh on, tell me you wouldn't be. Come on. We be ready. Cause I feel like, I feel like ladies, we, we do the most for men. Like we always look good, we smell good, we taste good, you know what I'm saying? We even got these weird ass products called douches. Now, I, I never really understood them because every time I ever went to go investigate the shit in the aisle, they always had these dumb ass names like sea breeze and ocean mist. Let me ask you something, miss. When was the last time you was ever misted in the face by the ocean and you felt fresh? Never. Don't worry, I'll wait. Never. Never, right? Never. And I thought about it like if you're going to name something that's supposed to taste delicious, name it after something men actually love to eat, like mesquite barbecue some of these. You know what I'm saying? Or like filet mignon for you fancy bitches. Hell yeah, I like filet mignon, motherfuckers. Give me that loaded baked potato with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or for the Asians, coochie teriyaki. We got flavors. We got, she got coochie teriyaki right here. Look at it. There we go, miss. Beautiful, beautiful. Right? Or for the alcoholics, blue moon poon. You look like you enjoy you a nice blue moon poon, sir. For real. We do the most. We do. And I feel like you know, in school, they never really taught us, like, how to be women and how to use our pussy as a weapon. Because pussy is a weapon, okay? Look, that's why the men ain't saying shit right now. They mad as hell, like, yeah, bitch, you right. My baby mama pulled three pistols out on a motherfucker. <laughs> but I feel like if there was a class in school, like, pussynomics, like, I would have took that shit, yo. Clap it up if you would have took a Pussynomics 101. Hell yeah. I would have definitely took me some fucking Pussynomics. You know what I mean? Because they didn't teach us, like, how to use our body. They didn't, there was no pussy pie charts. There was no vag diagrams. You know what I mean? Like, is my pussy a stock? If I overflood my pussy market, am I finna depreciate my pussy value? The answer is yes, ladies. The answer is yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is it okay if I diversify my pussy portfolio? You know what I'm saying? It is. It is, sir. It is. You know? Like, am I paying out pussy dividends? Are my exes current pussy shareholders? I don't know. These are things they don't teach us. You know what I'm saying? So I thought about it and I said, you know what we could do, ladies? If you take one piece of advice home from the white girl, just remember this, name your shit. <laughs> name your shit, name your shit, name your shit, name your shit. For real, because I swear, if one more motherfucker asks me, whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this, girl? And now you looking back all confused and shit like, um, I thought it was mine. Shut up, bitch. Oh no, just me? Oh, okay, I see how we doing out here, uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see what it is, I see what we doing. <laughs> but for real though, I feel like, you know, when they ask me whose is it, you just gotta have a name for them. And I be telling them, this Miss White House. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, I run shit. You know why I named her Miss White House though, right? Because ever since I got rid of that Bush character, I had a black guy up in there. Y'all wasn't ready. Y'all wasn't ready. <laughs> this pussy in politics, motherfucker. This pussy in politics, you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm comedian Jessica Lee. I appreciate you so much. You can follow me at Jessica Lee Comedy. Thank you.
funny media group production.